We've hired our own detectives, and Frank's got the department out in force, but it's like Alan has dropped off the face of the earth. And how are you holding up? I just can't believe that I didn't see this coming sooner. I keep asking myself, if I were Alan, where would I be? And then I remember, he's not Alan. He's not the Alan that I knew. So in the absence of the real Alan Spaulding, you stepped in. Excuse me? I saw the press conference. And? And good luck in finding Alan. No, no. No, obviously you have something to say about me stepping in. As a matter of fact, I do. <clears throat> As your uncle, I am concerned about this turnaround of yours, okay? You had your life very much on track. I'm still on track. I'm just taking a different train. I can understand your concern for Alan, but the company? What was I supposed to do? Well, look for him. Yes, of course. But in finding your father, don't lose yourself. Oh, come on. Now, you have to know that I am not thrilled about plunging back into Spalding. But I didn't feel like I had much of a choice. Oh, I think you did. And I don't want to see you get sucked into something that doesn't make you happy. It's never made you happy, Philip. But it's not just about me. I've got my kids to think about. This is their legacy, too. And you were going to leave them a legacy far more valuable than a stock portfolio. You were going to give them your time, right? I'm not abandoning them. I'm just keeping the family from going under. And you know what, Ross? Hey, who the hell knows? Maybe, maybe at this point in my life, I can actually be happy running the company if I can do it my way. I hope you can pull that off. Well, we'll see. But never, never forget what happened to Alan. I saw it firsthand. I was working for him at the time. He made this company his life. It consumed him. Ross? And look what's happened. I'm not Alan. Excuse me. Hello? Evie. Uh, yeah. Uh, just be a second, Ross. Um, no, uh, no word yet on my father. Um, listen, I need you to set me up a meeting with all the department heads as soon as possible. Right? Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. But don't worry. In the meantime, the company's not going to suffer. Okay. All right, let me know when you get that meeting scheduled. Thanks. Sorry. Where were we? You were saying you were an Alan. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that Alan didn't think he was Brandon once upon a time. Ouch. Okay. The truth? Please. There has always been a part of me that wanted to take my shot at running this company. And to do it my way. To show Alan and to show Alex that it doesn't have to be their way. It can be done differently. It can be done better. And I understand how tempting that is. But there is a real chance that Alan will not resume his rightful place in the company. Now, are you willing to give up your independence and make Spalding Enterprises your life permanently? You know, Ross, maybe this time it'll be the best of both running the company. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not entering into this with any illusions. But, you know, it's not the position itself that is the root of all evil. It doesn't have to be that way. You know, I don't doubt you, I don't doubt your intentions, and I think you could run the company wonderfully. And in spite of the harangue, I am in your corner. I know that you are, and I appreciate it. I, I, I know I have to be careful about the way I go back this time. I know that I have to remember why it felt so good to walk away. And I saw you just after you did that, and you were never happier. So I just hope that whatever or whoever changed your mind is worth it. Philip, you have to do something. Holly is planning on leading the evening news with a piece on Alan. This is going to be a disaster for the company. Hi, Hi. sorry. Maybe you can do something. I'm because sorry. I'll handle it. Will you call her? Because oh. she should be back by the station. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Ross, I'll be back in a minute. Thanks. Sorry. I hope I wasn't interrupting something important. No, I was asking Philip a question, that's all. And I believe I just got my answer. Still nothing. I have an appointment with Dr. Sedwick in the morning. It just routine? Maybe a sonogram. I thought you might like to come. Sure, yeah. I figure with all the bad stuff that's going on, maybe it'd be nice to see a, a glimpse of the good. Have you eaten? 
because I asked Cook to prepare us something. Mm, no, I'm okay. But you know, you need to eat. I'll keep you company. Okay. Good. See you. Hang on a sec. Something else I want to tell you. I've decided that I don't want to run Spalding on an interim basis. I want to stay and do it right. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think? I think it's great. I, I was just telling Ross that I, I think we can have it all, and I do. I believe we can. More than anything, I just want to be with you. Okay, I don't care where we are, if we're on a private island or in the middle of all this. I'm with you all the way. Okay? <laughs>